In this presentation, we will run payroll reports after having processed payroll, which includes health insurance, which is paid by the employer, comparing and contrasting that to prior pay periods, which did not have the health insurance paid by employer, but did have dental and vision, one being before tax, one being after tax within QuickBooks. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info. Here we are on the home page. We currently have the open windows open. To view the open windows, go to the view tab and select the open windows list. Let's look at our two main reports just to overview them. We're going to go to the reports drop down, company and financial, and first take a look at that balance sheet. Within the balance sheet, we still are looking at 12-31-1-8 year end. That's December 31st. Notice the checking account is still going down because all we're doing is processing payroll. Liabilities are still going up because the payroll liabilities are there. Both employer and employee portion haven't been paying them, grouping them all into one liability account as is the default with QuickBooks. We then go to, go to the profit and loss. Reports drop down. We're going to go to company and financial profit and loss. And we're going to go to 010118 to 12, 12, 3118. So it's January through December 2018. Just to show that all of the expense then, as well as the expenses for the gross pay and the payroll taxes are included in this one number. We'll get into more detail on that later. I just want to overview the main financial statement reports. Now we're going to go to the reports that would be processed, uh, the 941s and the w3 and w2 and see what they would look like if we were to run them at this point in time to do that we're going to go to the employees drop down we're going to scroll down to the payroll tax forms we want to process payroll forms we're going to process the payroll forms and we are, are here in the employee center again we're in the file forms we're going to take a look at the 941s the first one and then the w2 and w3 i'm just going to double click on the 941 to do so and then we're going to need the dates here. And at this point, it can be a little confusing. So just keep this in mind here because we're, and we did this on purpose basically to, to print the paycheck one day after instead of keeping it in the same uh, pay period because we want to note that uh, most of the time it will be a little bit more complex, meaning we have monthly payroll. So you'd think January, February, March would be in the first quarter. April, May, June would be in the second quarter. July, August, September. However, we're paying it in the next day of the next month. So in this case, we want to we want to be mindful of the fact that the payroll process is going to be on a cash basis when reporting it to the IRS. So in this case, then we're going to have to go into the third quarter end to pick up the last payroll that we just put into place. Why? Because we process it for the month of June, uh, which ends on, on June 30th. So you think on accrual on an accrual method, it should be in the second quarter. But we didn't pay it till the first day. And even though we just paid it, no one even worked in that month. We're, we're still going to end up processing the payroll based on that cash basis method. So we're actually in the third quarter we're going to process now. So January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. So we're going to say 09318 is going to be uh, the month we need. And that's for the three, the three months ended then. So we're going to say, okay and process this report and we should just get our one payroll uh, at that time so i'm going to say next on this report and here we are so here's our information so now we have the wages up top so this is going to be the 3834 that's going to be the fit wages as compared to the social security and the medicare wages now there's only one paycheck remember included here because we had one employee and the one paycheck which just barely made it in to the third quarter even though all the work was done in the second quarter and we know that we pay that individual uh, gross pay 4062.5 that being the overtime and the and the regular pay if we subtract that from this number the social security wages minus the 4037.5 that gives us a 25 dollar difference that recall is the vision difference because the vision was something that we're going to reduce the 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 wage amount here for the calculation of both social security and medicare so that's going to be our difference there the dental uh, didn't didn't do that because we said it, it wasn't going to be reducing the taxes this number over here is different by 
both that $25 amount and the 401k that was put into place, but only the employee portion. So again, if we took the gross of 4062.5 minus the 401k, which was 203.13 minus the uh, 25 for the vision, that's going to give us the 383437 about. And that difference was a little bit higher because I put 13 cents on the 401k and it was actually even in the data we input. So anyways, that's going to be the difference there. So we can see uh, this difference between these two numbers is going to be the 401k employee portion. But uh, this number is actually down below the gross pay by the vision as well. What we've added to here in the last paycheck was the employer paid uh, for the health insurance. And that's not included in any of these numbers. So both of these numbers are kind of short by now the employee portion of uh, insurance that was paid or the employer portion of the insurance that was paid is not included in here. These numbers are both low by the fact that the employer paid over and above this gross pay insurance and the employer portion of the um, 401k plan, the matching portion. So if we were to look at that one check then and add up the Social Security and Medicare for the employer and employee portion, we would get to these items, which we could recalculate based on this number uh, and, and this being double the employee rate and this being double the employee rate or the employee employer rate added together. And this being the sum of those, and that's going to give us the third quarter now where we are at as of now for the third quarter 941s. Let's take a look at the W-2. I'm going to close this back out and we're going to go back to our reports and look at the W-2 now and see what that would be at this point in time at being 2018. Okay. Okay. And we're just going to review and edit. I'm going to go next, next, next. And then here's what we have. So this would be for the entire year now. And remember, all our, our payroll is basically standardized. So our payroll should be 4062.5 times. Now we have had six checks. So it would be 24375. It's different than any of these numbers here. Our largest number is this one. So let's say minus 24325 is going to be different by $50. And that's because we paid the vision now two times for two paychecks as of this point in time. We've had two paychecks that ran 25 each for the vision. The dental isn't decreasing these at all uh, because of because the difference in for tax, uh, before and after tax that we put. And then this item then is going to be different than these two by the 401k. So we've got the uh, 24325 minus the 23310 is reported here. So notice that the W3 is reporting the difference. It's reconciling these items that are on this report on the W2, but it's not giving us really the gross pay because these none of these numbers are including what the employer paid over and above that's not included in gross pay at all, which includes at this point the health insurance that was paid by the employer and the 401k employer portion. Uh, now, and so that's going to be these items. The federal income tax is going to be, if we added up all the paychecks, that would be reported here. Also, if we added up, of course, the 941s for the three quarters now, for the for FIT, we can match out this number. Same with Social Security and Medicare. We can, we can match out the federal income tax for the three quarters and all the paychecks. And then the Social Security and Medicare, remember, this is only the employee portion. So if we added if we added up the employee portion of all paychecks, it would tie out. If we doubled these items and added up the three quarters we have so far of the 941s, then these should tie out. Okay, and then here's the we have the retirement plan still, and this is going to be the amount for the employee portion, the difference between these two numbers, the state taxes here, SDI, which will change from state to state, and the state income tax that's being withheld. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info.